Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a review of Jumping Joeys by Sarah Allen. This is a non-fiction text. I actually recently purchased this from the author at a local market and was able to tell her how much I enjoyed Busy Beaks, which is another one of her books. And this is a non-fiction title all about Australia's marsupials. So I'm going to read you the blurb. It says, Journey through the night with some of Australia's most fascinating furry friends. Meet waddling wombats, bounding bilbies, peculiar possums and daring devils in this delightful introduction to our cute and quirky marsupials. So this is a book that has very simple text for the main part of of the book. So each page has a simple sentence and then whichever animal is featured as part of it. So big feet bounce in the twilight is kangaroo. So this is the red kangaroo. And then underneath it, it has the scientific name for the kangaroo. You don't get heaps of facts in the main part of the book because it's simply, it's kind of almost like a narrative nonfiction in some ways in that we're sort of traveling around through the dusk night into dawn and meeting the different marsupials that come out at different times of the day, which, you know, another really great topic to talk about in this book. So we sort of get animal characteristics as we move through the main part of the story. And then when you get to the end, there is the furry field guide where all of the marsupials that we've met get a little paragraph that gives us more specific information about each individual animal. So this makes it very digestible. You could also, as a teacher, just take one of these paragraphs and blow it up and actually use that to deconstruct and a very simple information text about a single animal as well, which it can be really difficult sometimes to find really great examples of simple nonfiction paragraphs about, you know, just a single topic. But particularly in the early and middle years, you're not expecting kids to write pages and pages of information text. So being able to see that it can be done really simply, like this then becomes a really great mental text. But throughout the book, there is great rhyming text. As you heard in the blurb, there's some really great tier two words like waddling and bounding and peculiar and daring, like those words you can pull apart and unpack as part of a word unit. I talked about the fact that we have nocturnal and diurnal animals in here, so you could talk about the characteristics of both of those. It's a really great jumping off point if you are starting to learn about some of these animals. As I said, we only get a really short paragraph about that specific animal, but if you wanted to take it further, it's a great way of introducing students to a lot of different animals to then spark their interest in learning more about a specific one or more than one. It's also really beautifully illustrated. And I forgot to mention, I love these end papers which feature Australian leaves. So I had a great time reading this and it was nice to read it after Busy Beaks. And now I need to go back and find out if Sarah Ellen has any other books because clearly I wanna add them to my collection. In the description, I will leave links to where you can find out more information about Jumping at Joey's and about the author. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in picking up this book or if you've already read it or any of Sarah Ellen's other books. Or if you just wanna let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment, feel free to leave a koala emoji down below. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.